Hello, welcome to India Edu Tutorials. In our previous classes, we have discussed the concept of work and time and some examples. Today and in further classes, we would be discussing examples of work and time so it becomes more clear to you. First example is A alone can do a piece of work in 6 days and B alone in 8 days. A and B undertook to do it for Rs. 3200. With the help of C, they completed the work in 3 days. How much is to be paid to C? So, in the questions of work and time, as told you earlier, first you need to calculate their one day work. So, as A can complete the total work in 6 days, so A's one day work will be equal to 1 by 6. Similarly, B's one day work is equal to 1 by 8. Now, it is given in the question that with the help of C, they completed the work in 3 days. That is, A plus B plus C completed work in 3 days. So, their one day work will be A plus B plus C's one day work is equal to 1 by 3. Now, this one day work of there will be equal to A's one day work plus B's one day work plus C's one day work equals to 1 by 3. Now with the help of this equation we can calculate C's one day work. So A's plus B's plus C's one day work is equal to their total one day work. Now A's one day work is 1 by 6 plus B's one day work which is 1 by 8 and C's one day work is equal to 1 by 3. So C's one day work is equal to 1 by 3 minus 1 by 6 minus 1 by 8. Taking the LCM we get 48. Now it's 3 into 16 minus 8 minus 6. That is 16 minus 14 upon 48 which gives us 2 by 48. That is 1 by 24. So C's one day work is 1 by 24. Their ratio becomes A ratio B ratio C is equal to 1 by 6 ratio 1 by 8 ratio 1 by 24. We have taken this ratio because the amount that is paid to them will be depend on their efficiency. Multiplying this ratio by 24, we will get here 24 by 6 ratio 24 by 8 ratio 24 by 24. That is equal to 4 ratio 3 ratio 1. So they will get this 3200 and ratio of 4 ratio 3 ratio 1. We need to find out only what is paid to C. So C's ratio will be equal to that is 1 by sum of the ratio that is 4 plus 3 plus 1 8 into total amount that is to be divided 3200. This has been told in ratio and proportion class. So this gives us 400. So A will get a share of rupees 400. Now let's discuss another example. Next example is A can do a piece of work in 4 hours. B and C together can do it in 3 hours while A and C together can do it in 2 hours. How long will B alone take to do it? So in this question, as we have solved earlier questions, first of all, we will find out how much time or how much work they can do in one hour. So A can do total piece of work in four hours. So A's work in one hour is equal to one by four. Similarly, B and C can do it in three hours. So B plus C's work in 1 hour is equal to 1 by 3 and A and C can do it in 2 hours. So A plus C's work in 1 hour is equal to 1 by 2. We need to find out that how long will B take to do the work. Now A plus B plus C will give us the total work done by them. That is A plus B plus C alone will do 
the work in 1 plus 4 plus b plus c that is 1 by 3 which gives us 12 and 3 plus 4 equals to 7 by 12 and we need to calculate the work of b only give and we are given that a and c can do it in 1 by 2 hours so putting value over here of a plus c plus b is equal to 7 by 12 a and c can do in 1 by 2 plus b is equal to 7 by 12 b can do it in 7 by 12 minus 1 by 2 that gives us taking 12 as a lcm 7 minus 6 as 1 by 12 1 by 12 now b can do in 1 hour as 1 by 12 so he will take 12 hours to complete the work note we have reciprocated it because this is the total work taken by b to complete the work for more examples stay tuned with indiaedu.com